All right, welcome back to SK Hobbies AZ, and I am Stitch. And on this episode, we are going to be doing some upgrades, big upgrades, on the Deadbolt, the SCX24 Deadbolt. So stay tuned. All right, well, welcome back. So yes, we're gonna be doing some upgrades on the SCX24 Deadbolt. So we got that bad boy on there, a bunch of upgrades. This is going to be part one of the series. We're gonna go over the parts and then we'll come back for uh, a second part after we get this done. And then uh, the third part will be a run video on it. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the content. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. All right. So there is the SCX24 Deadbolt. Um, we haven't really uh, done too much other than the free mods that we did on it. We also put on those uh, Enjora long travel shocks. And we did the free mods in there where we moved, uh, you can see the battery up to where the ESC plate is and we put the ESC back in the back. So with that being said, we've got a bunch of additional upgrades so we've got the endura there uh, these are the high links so you can see right there they're the the high clearance links from endura and we got those in red we also got you can see right there this is the front steering linkage that's going to go in place right there we also got a set of the endura I'll put a link in the description of what they are, but we're going to get those installed. And then we also got some, these are the steering knuckles, the brass ones. We got a set of those. And right here we've got, so these are the, uh, the five millimeter extensions. We got that. And then this right here is going to be the black uh, back plate for the uh, diff housing cover. So for... Moving on, you can see we got some CCXRC stuff over here. So we've got his front CCXRC diff cover. We even got a set of his bearing kit for it. So we're going to put bearings in it. Next on the list here is a set of his brass axle housings. So we got those. Um, that diff cover that's in there is going to go for a different project. So we got that. We also got CCXRC's servo mount, and we also got his, look at those overdrive gears we're going to put in this bad boy. And then we also are going to replace the drive shafts with the Trill drive shafts for the Deadbolt series. So we got all that done, we're going to need to do a little bit more. So. We got some Furitech stuff. Look at this, we got the, the Scythe chassis. So this chassis here is his their carbon fiber kit. So it's gonna be completely all blacked out carbon fiber. And we picked up some new electronics. So we got the new Furitech, we got the new Furitech ESC, which you can see right there. So this is their new one they just came out with. It's in that nice housing. We even haven't even opened up the package yet. We're gonna get into that and dig that out of there. And I'll take some pictures um, for after we do the install. And then also we've got, look at that. We've got their stellar transmission with the uh, brushless motor. So we got that going on. So major upgrades for the SCX24 Deadbolt. Let's go ahead and bring you back up front. I hope you guys enjoyed the walkthrough on the parts. And so we're gonna go ahead and get these installed. We'll see you guys here on part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bash that bell. I'm Stitch, SK Hobbies AZ, and I'm out.